What's up everyone? I am doing my first fan mail unboxing plus I'm gonna actually compare it to what I purchased and these are all from Amazon and as you can see we are talking about spoons today. So this box here a fan actually sent this to me purchased on Amazon and uh, yeah I purchased some Amazon spoons that I want to test out and try out for you guys because I know a lot of you guys have seen uh, some of the spoons I purchased on AliExpress. They're awesome. And the problem is not a lot of people want to buy stuff from AliExpress. One, because it's AliExpress. People don't want to have that trust on putting a credit card into a China platform. Don't blame ya, okay? And then secondly, with COVID-19 logistics, it's just terrible, okay? So what I want to do is I want to hunt some stuff here right before fall because trout season is going to be there and, you know, fall bait just runs everywhere. So even for bass, crappies, perch, fishing spoons is going to be great especially on BFS gears, bait finesse system, or, you know, ultralight bait casters. You know, bait casters with shallow spools, such as this casting Zephyr. Okay, with that said, let's get this little comparison started. I think I'm gonna start with my fan box first because it's my very first one. I'm actually very, very excited. I'm very stoked. And so let's analyze this. I was uh, told or asked to, you know, fish some of this, also give the feedback on these spoon designs. So let's take a look at it. So far, you know, the silver and gold, it looks good so far. So let's take a look at it. We'll start from the left because it looks like the left is the, the lighter ones. And it's interesting. Some of these looks like, uh, all right, it's swapped around, but um, e okay. Okay, so we'll clear it, out, clear it out later. So let's start with this guy right here. This looks like two and a half grams. Great, cool, look at, look at this. I think I'll use these. It looks like they just stamped it out of, um, uh, some sheet metals. Nice, nice. Let's take a look at some of this hook. Wait a second. Do you, do you guys see this? Hold up, hold up. Let, let me just compare this very quickly. I see it in the edge of the eye and doesn't look too nice. Okay, and it confirms it. The hook size for these two are different. I wonder if they've done it specifically for it, but I don't know, man. I, I'd rather have this, this hook size for this spoon here because this is a relatively pretty big spoon. Okay, anyway, let's keep assessing. Two and a half grams. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna probably weigh these too. Man, the two and a half grams looks, looks pretty good. Shine on this one looks off. Like it's totally off. So let's see, see if I can buff it with my finger grease. But yeah, it doesn't look too, too shiny. And then this one is shiny. All right, well, let's just weigh one of these. Make sure it's like close to two and a half grams. It should be a little heavier than two and a half grams. Yep, because of the, you know, the hooks and stuff like that. All right, so the weight is pretty accurate. So they are, whoa, wait a second. This one is even tinier. Okay, so it's almost like that one, right? Yeah, that's, it's, uh, it's tiny. All right, anyways. Let's keep moving along. So this is a uh, three and a half grams now. So, okay. So this is a little bigger than a two and a half. Let me just shake one of this off. Let's take a look at the, yeah, it's a little thicker, but yeah, these, these are all the same shape. So, and I think I already see another, yeah, this is interesting. Cause if you look at these two spoons here, they're tiny hooks. This one might, yeah, this one is even tinier. This is, might be the tiniest. And the lighter spoon has a bigger hook, which is interesting. Let me put this side to side again. I think they're all the same length. Yeah, they're same, same length. Two and a half grams versus three and a half grams. Okay, but the hook size is different, which makes totally no, no sense to me. Um, this is not three and a half grams. So this is a little disorganized for them. And then here's the thick one. Ooh, it does feel heavy. Let's pour it all out. Oh my gosh, I just, I just pulled this out and it's popped up my eyes. Look at this. These five grams, okay, with super tiny hooks compared to, let's say, this, this guy right here, the two and a half grams. That's, that's so interesting. Oh my gosh, I saw something else. It's disgusting. Okay, so you see how thick this is compared to, let's say, the th that is the thinnest one, right? So basically, it's just like a thick sheet metal stamped. And <laughs> look at the split ring because it's just the way that they made it heavy is just by making it thicker 
and I don't think you can put any split rings in here without damaging a split ring. And the hook's small, and you can see this hook's already trying to come off. All right, so this, this guy's Junkie Monkey. I'm actually gonna get the link and put the link in the description below so you guys can see it on Amazon. Avoid this one. I, I totally avoid it. And the guy who purchased it, if you guys, if you want, um, well, I'm actually gonna shoot your email and you could just copy and paste exactly what I wrote. It, it's, it's terrible, you know? Oh my gosh. Sorry, but uh, I think I'll probably just use the two and a half grams ones. I might swap the hooks around based on the sizes and stuff like that, but right now I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Like it's totally different quality compared to like my Yappa does, but uh, no good, no good. Anyways, let's jump to my box. This box looks so much better. Look at that. Now that's what I call variety. You have different colors, you have different shapes. And look, some of them even have a hackle, feather, whatever. Why don't we start from left to right, shall we? First guy here, looks kind of similar to those right there, but uh, I think this might be a little more slender. Two and a half grams, single hook. Now that hook size definitely look a lot better. Got mylar flash, crystal flash, I'm sorry, crystal flash and a hackle. Okay, so gram wise, three. Mm. Okay, I would say it'll pass for a two and a half gram. This might be more than two and a half gram because I don't think these um, accessories there, the hooks and stuff will make it that heavy. This is the way this one should be the same one, right? Three, yeah, it's close. But yeah, these two are the same, just two different colors. And this should be different. Okay, it is different. Look at that. I was looking, I think I was looking the opposite side, but this has some etch, uh, etching on here. It looks like this right here, but bigger. Okay, it has treble hook, feathers, and some mylar. 5.2. Okay, so this is the heavy boy. Heavy boy, all right, 5.3. So it's five gram, likely. Let's put this back in here safely. All right, and then here's an interesting one right here. In fact, why don't I take these out? Because I want to compare hook sizes now. If I can get this out. All right, there we go, problem solved. Okay, this one here says it's three grams. So let's, wait, that guy here, let's organize this for a second. So 3.4, and the silver ones looks like, as you see, there's a little red mark on there, 3.2, 3.3. So the weighting is a little inconsistent, but looks like one split ring looks bad there. These looks okay here. Hook size looks pretty consistent. So I'll give this a pass, okay? These looks okay here. And what do we have here? Let's go with the smaller guys first. All right, this looks good here. Uh, that's the old one. Boom, okay, so this one, does it have a weight? Nope, doesn't say on there. What is that, three? Three points, oh, 2.7. So that's prob probably a uh, 2.5. 2.6, wow. Yeah, this is probably a 2.5 gram spoon. So it might be the lightest spoon here. You gotta check that one. But it looks good. Has some paint on it. Hook size look consistent. I am just looking at the split rings. They all look good. All right, good to go. The last one. I guess this look anything similar? Nope, it's a little, little different. All right, so this looks bigger and it looks like shaped a little different. 3.2. point two. all right, consistent. 3.2, all right, so this is probably a three, uh, three gram spoon. Okay, so this is interesting though. Like, what's up with the dots? It looks like they hammered the crap out of it. Okay, they probably did to get the probably scales, you could say. This one doesn't have it though. Interesting. But anyway, guys, I think I like this box. I mean, it's definitely way better than this box. I think uh, my Yapadas are, are cool because I, I just like the slim spoons, but this box, you have a variety of different shaped spoons. It's gonna be fun throwing this. 
falls right around the corner. So uh, definitely want to buy stuff on Amazon that's on Prime because they actually have stuff on Amazon that's actually sold just like AliExpress. But, you know, storefront is here at Amazon and it's going to take like a long time. So make sure you guys check the date and make sure it says Amazon Prime before you guys purchase anything for uh, you fall fishing. And I just want to make sure that I purchase all my stuff now before fall because fall is flu season. So people are going to be susceptible to flu, right? And with COVID-19, you don't know how that cluster storm shenanigans is going to be. Um, fishing stuff might also be sold out, but who knows? Uh, football season here, so maybe people watch some football if they even have football, right? But uh, I, 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 don't, I really don't know. Uh, but all I know is I'm not going to uh, end up like springtime with a lack of lures, okay? This, I, I have to be honest, this springtime, I keep using the same stuff I've been using lately and bought some, a few new things, which I guess I could talk about later in a different video. But uh, guys, go out there and buy some cool stuff. If you guys have any other uh, lures you guys want to check out, you know, you want me to check out, you could leave a link below. Or if you guys want to send me something, that'd be cool too. And I want to thank you, the guy who sent me this. Uh, I definitely will use this small one because, like I said, I, I, I thank you for sending me uh, some lures in my P.O. box. And I want to catch something with at least uh, one or two of these spoons. So I'll, I'll definitely throw, throw that. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to send me something, you guys could check out my description below. I left uh, my address to my P.O. box. Uh, limited time only because I'm actually selling some frog lures. I don't know how long that, you know, that's going to last. So uh, if you guys do want to send me something and I don't know when, when you guys watch this video, you guys can always hit me up with my email too, rawfishing at gmail.com and uh, just let me know. And uh, uh, we could chat there too. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys watch some cool fishing videos coming up soon. Adventure in the fall is always great. Cooler weather, ton of fish biting. Great action. Get out there, guys. The fish don't wait.